baptized the Messiah. He was the one who was assigned to prepare the planet for the greatest move of God, Jesus. What a weight. But he understood the weight and he stayed in the wilderness until the Lord released him. I prophesy this over you today. Stay in the place that God has you in, even if it's uncomfortable, until he releases you because the Lord is fashioning you for this hour. The wildernesses are what produce your authority. John the Baptist would have not had that authority had he not been in the wilderness. And let me end with this. The wild ones, you will look different. You're supposed to look different. Man-pleasing is not a part of your mindset when you're a wild one. Elijah's, the spirit of Elijah looked different on John the Baptist than it did on the prophet Elijah. And I want you to catch this. When you read in scripture, the prophet Elijah, we see him doing a lot of miracles, raising the dead. But when you study John the Baptist, you don't see so much the miracles. What you see is him raising a dead nation. In this hour, the spirit of Elijah that you and I are called upon is going from a man comes by the Spirit. And it was on Prophet Elijah. It was on John the Baptist. It's now coming on a generation. Where it came upon a person in Scripture, it's now coming upon a company of people. I want you to stand right now. We're in an hour where I believe God is saying... The weight, let me, let me say this better. The revelation of the weight that you carry is coming upon you. In this room right now, I heard the Lord say, I'm going to begin to show you actually the weight of what you carry. Some of you have actually not seen how significant you are. You have not understood just how much authority and anointing you're called to carry. So you've been living casually. But today, the Lord's gonna actually show you your call and what you're called to carry. It's going to change the way you see yourself and therefore it's gonna change the way you live. And I'm not talking about moral issues per se, although that if that applies to you, let's deal with that. But I'm actually calling it from a deeper place. I'm speaking right now to the people where on a moral level you're in alignment but on a spiritual level God is saying I need you to get that tenacious hunger once again that insatiable appetite for the things of God again where life has doled you down God is sharpening you right now And you're going to see your call. So close your eyes all over this room. And the Lord is going to begin to show you. I just feel like a revelation is going to begin to hit. Like some of you, you have yourself pigeonholed. You're like, this is who I am. This is what I do. And God's like, no. This is who I say you are. Dira ma 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 ye ra ba ko shukuri ra ba ka ha ye do ye ma ha shukuri ra ba duri ra ba ra ba ko ra shiki ba ha ba 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 dira ma ra ma ko ra ba. I heard the Lord say, society often defines us by our chronological age, so we have boundaries in the sense of we think God can use me during these years or those were my prime years. And I just heard the Lord says, I'm redefining, come on, we're in the redefine. I'm redefining how you view this season of your life and the age range that you see yourself in. Because society has told you that during this 
time in your life, whatever that may be, this age range of your life, your life is to look like this. I want to break that box off of you. And I want to declare the freedom to be who God has called you to be. Remember, God is changing the narrative. God is changing the narratives of what 60s look like, of what 70s look like, of what 50s look like. We break off that mentality of this is my time for the sidelines. I'm on the final chapters when I'm in my 70s, my 80s, or my 90s. No, no. What, what if you were actually just getting started? What if actually all those years of experience and wisdom, the greatest impact of your ministry was in the latter part versus the beginning of your life? But it was with the intention because of the authority that you now walk in. Shift the way you think. Remember, the spirit of Elijah shifts and then it establishes. Allow your mind to be shifted of how you see yourself right now. So Lord, right now, I thank you. All over this room, you are breaking off a false belief system that has been a learned behavior, a learned belief system through our natural society of telling us what our life should look like at certain ages. I break it off and we declare fresh start, clean slate. Fresh start, clean slate. And all over this room, we surrender to what you say and who you say we are. With your own mouth, I just want you to say, I surrender. I surrender. 